We're doing the Cavalier King Charles. So I've got my Ultra Edge two speed in green. And I've got the steel magnetic comb. I've got I'm gonna use the number two to accentuate the, the, the breastbone and give her some neck. So these are magnetic as well. They adjust from a 10, which is what I'm using. Or if you want to use a 30 under them, you just slide this across and you can it tightens it all up so it's, it doesn't rattle on those 30s. Pop it on. Hi, Belle. This is Belle. So we're getting the ears up. We're just going to come down and get rid of all this excess hair. We had done a one comb on the, the body and carded through it earlier this morning. So now we're just going to kind of clean this up, get rid of some of this long stuff. I'm going to do both sides. I had gone over this earlier with my thinning shears, but the two comb is just going to take it off that much faster. You want to leave hair here so that when you look at her from the side, we've taken this in tight, we've left this, see how it pops now? It looks like she's got a little bit more chest. The Cavalier has a dome-shaped head, so you want to use the hair to accentuate it, sort of like a cocker, only they don't get any clipper work. Sometimes I will take a 10 blade and just do the inside so that the, the air can get in there and the ear can breathe a little better, more for cleanliness than just clean all that excess out. They have that really thick ear leather and thick hair. And that just helps the air get in there. A little less issue with ear infections. Not unless it's matted. Just around the opening so that like I said, the air can get in there. I mean, it looks like she's already got something going on in that ear. I always ask my client whether or not they want the whiskers done. I don't know if they do or not because I didn't ask, but you can get rid of some of this long stuff. You're going to use your 10 blade. If you put the, the clipper down, face down on the table and then pick it up this way, turn it on, and just scrape it over the, the cockers. Oh yeah. Yes. Because all it does is takes the longer stuff off and leaves the plushness there. If, and if I was going to take her whiskers off, I would do the same thing. I would just come this way. But I don't want to take her whiskers off, so. Some people are really adamant about not having their dog's whiskers done, taken off. Oh, oh eyelashes are. We have an English cocker coming with us to to Intergroom. Who I think she's like maybe five years old. She's never had her eyelashes cut. They're like they're like that long, and they're like ooh. She's like just don't cut her eyelashes. Okay. 
So just taking the wispies off. I know you don't like this. And then I'm going to do the top of her head. The cocker, the American cocker, yes. I would go in and I would do the whole, I would do the stop and under the eyes. And the American cocker, you, they, they do have eyebrows, so you do the top of the eye too. It depends on the dog and the coat. The, um, the black ones, I would go in with a 30 blade just in here to accentuate the chiseling and then do the rest of the muzzle with the 10 or a 7. Just depends on how much fill they need. Yeah, you don't want to do it with a buff because the, once you, you get into that thick undercoat on their face, that's when you get all those track lines and it looks terrible. So that's when you really want to do the, and just take the, the outer stuff off. So we carted out her body this morning, we talked about it. We're going to do the same thing up here, just to get the dead stuff off. And again, you want to ask your owner. Some people like this. You know, they don't want you to take it off. So just ask them, do you want it, do you not want it? It's the same as when you're doing their feet. They, they're supposed to have slippers. You're supposed to have all this long hair, but not everybody likes it because it tracks in dirt. So we want to get rid of this. So we're just going to come around with our thinning shears. Get rid of the bulk. You really want to see a definition, a, a, a separation of the head and the neck. Once I get rid of this bulk, I'll show you how to do that. And this is true on pretty much all of your sporting dogs. You want to see definition from where the head comes in and where the neck starts. So I got rid of the bulk. I'm going to card through a little more. So this all lays down nice. So this is laying down nice, but I've still got like this stuff. You hold their head, use your thumb, and slide the skin forward a little bit. I know, it feels weird. Then over where that shorter head hair is gonna blend into the longer neck hair. Release it, and so now you can see it's coming in shorter, and then we're going to have the longer neck hair again.
And I'm just going to thin the top of this just over the ears where the ear set is and leave a little fill up here so we keep that dome shape. What a good girl. And some of this long stuff, if you really don't like it or if the owner doesn't like it, you can pluck and just pull it out. You always, when you do that, you always want to pull the way the hair lays because it'll grow back in in that direction. Some of this long stuff around her eyes, we'll just pull. You can just pull it out. Oh, it's like it And the only thing we really have left to do on her Get her back in there so she doesn't leave me. Just comb out her ears. The cavalier does not get the top part shaved. They're left natural. So I usually just kind of brush them all out. And then just trim the bottoms. Generally, I will trim them to the point of shoulder. You don't really want them hanging past that. It makes the dog look front heavy, so it looks like they're going to fall on their face. Guys, stand, honey. And since hers aren't that long anyways, we're just going to comb them down. Take our straight shear. I'm just taking the at the bottoms. Get up, girl. You're not helping me. Just the, the way the, the ear is shaped, just trimming the edges. And that's your little cavalier head.